the Gumber Sands Juvenile Hurdle is next. All Car Enzyme, Padre Hogan, Chaos Bell, Craig Beck with Final Say, Darren Thompson, Military Crusade, Jim Murray, Moushe Le Sifflet, Padre Hogan, Mr. Fish, Martin and Potential in Spades, Joshua Sutherland, Redondo, Beach, Leon Van Rensburg, Cladora, Alacalba, Derek Hinton, Go to Bits of Jewel, Graham Clutterbuck, Native Waters, Craig Beck with Pan Project, Martin Little, Fargara Air, for Derek Hinton, Ruth Noise Fanning, David Robertson, Stiletto Hill, Daniel French, and Village Witch, Jim Murray, 16 of them. First Grade 1 Juvenile Hurdle Race of the season. They're off and racing. This is probably the race with the most awkward names that I've ever come across. And as they race down towards the first of the 13 flights, it's this weird double to start with. And it looks like they're all safely over the first two. Indeed they are. And the ordinary named Mr. Fish is in the lead from the ordinary named final say in second. Then we get the first of the mouthfuls with Cladora Alacaba from Fargara Air. I'm sure people make these names up on purpose. Then comes Chaos Bell, potentially in spades after that. The Hot Shot Stiletto Heel, who's won both of its races so far. He's tucked in mid-division, looking towards the back. Native Waters is the back marker as they get over to the third. And Mr. Fish, who was a winner last week, leads by about four or five lengths to Redondo Beach in second. And then Stiletto Hill is third, potentially in spades is fourth. Then Cladora Alacaba and Chaos Bell. Gola Bitsa Jewel is after that one. And Village Witch. In division is Moushe Le Sifflet and Ruth Noyes Fanning. Ruth Noyes Fanning, I suppose. Is that how we're supposed to say that? It's supposed to be in France, so we'll call it that. Mr. Fish is the leader. Monsieur Fish is in front. From potential in spades in second, as they get over the fifth. Good jump there by Fargara Air. Jumped into second, Chaos Bell. On the outside is third, like Craig Beckwith, he names his horses sensible names. Then comes a Stiletto Hill, Redondo Beaches after that one. And Cladora Alacaba. As they get to the sixth, so all safely over. Final say has dropped towards the back. Padan Project is also towards the rear as well. Stable mate of the leader. Even though he's running in different colours. It's Mr. Fish who is in the lead. Uh, the fact that he's in the purple and white stripe shows that Mr. Fish at home is a flat horse. But you can get away with running flat horses as four-year-old hurdlers because they don't have to go chasing and most of them can hurdle okay. So Mr. Fish in the lead. Never jumped a hurdle in his life in the real game, but won last week. And he's in front from Redondo Beach in second. Cladora Alacaba is third, then Fargara Air back in fourth, then potentially in spades as they get over the ninth. I feel quite well strung out to say this is only two miles and one furlong. It's a very different race to what the Triumph Hurdle will be later in the season. Now we're over this fourth and third last, which is this funny little two-parter. And Mr. Fish continuing to lead from Fargara Air in second. Redondo Beach is third, then potentially in spades is back in fourth. Cladara Alacaba is after that one in Stiletto Hill trying to make it three out of three. Padan Project is making a bit of ground. Also, Ruth Noir's Fanan is trying to get into it as well. But it's Mr. Fish who's still two to three lengths clear. And they're queuing up behind to take him on. Redondo Beach, the first one, who's going to come to challenge. I think there's two furlongs to go and two flights to get over. Mr. Fish still two lengths to the good. Here comes this Stiletto Hill on the outside. But he's bringing Padan Project with him as Redondo Beach hits the front. Redondo Beach over the final flight in the lead from Cladora Alexander potentially in spades and then on the outside Stiletto Hill is Redondo Beach with half a furlong to go being pressed by Cladora Alacaba and Cladora Alacaba's getting up and he's going to take it I think Cladora Alacaba from potential in spades who's closing with every stride it's got to be close on the line I think it's just potential in spades closest to us for Joshua Sutherland it's going to depend where the winning post is on the other side of the track and the way the angle goes because it's different from course to course and I think potential in spades has got up Stiletto Hill has definitely lost its unbeaten run so it's not unbeatable and it's a short head win for potential in spades for Joshua Sutherland Cladora Alacaba for Derek Hinton was second Redondo Beach was third for Leon Van Rensburg the fourth horse has just momentarily disappeared from my view and has now come back as Stiletto Hill the red hot favourite previously unbeaten for Darren French and final say 
for Darren Thompson was fifth. <laughs>